In this video, let's look at how to add a controller profile first. Enter controller profiles tab. Click on add profile. In the pop-up window, you can select controller type. There are two types of controllers. Number one is BMP server, which is integrated with Cisco Epic EM or Cisco NSO. The second option is Watchland controller, which is used for Cisco access point management. Let's go ahead and select PMP server. Then click on next. In the profile setting page, you are first required to enter the controller profile name, such as PMP marketing. Under primary controller sections, you can use either FQDN, FPV4, or FPV6 to identify this controller. Let's go ahead and select IPv4. For Trustbar protocol, you can use either HTTPS or HTTP for the connection to these controllers. Let's select HTTPS. Then you can enter IPv4 address for this controller. You can also leave port 443 as a default port for HTTPS connection. Because this is HTTPS connection, you're also required to upload APEM server certificate to this page. Click on Browse and locate APEM server certificate in PAM format on your local machine. Then proceed with the upload. After that is completed, click on Next. In the Review page, you can review all the information you just configured. Then click Submit. In the next page, it will confirm this controller has been added successfully. Click on Done. You will return to the controller profile summary page. If you want to make this controller as default controller, select this controller, then click Make Default. After that is completed, there will be a pop-up window to remind you all the future devices will be automatically assigned to this default controller. Now, let's assign controller to the device. Click on Devices tab. As you can see, the devices are not assigned to the controller yet. Let's use ISR4221 as an example. Go ahead and select this device, then click Edit Selected. In the next page, under Devices Property, go ahead and select Controller Profile. Then select PMP Marketing Controller Profile we just created. Then click Apply. After review the changes, go ahead and click Submit. After returning to the device summary page, you can see PMP Marketing Controller has been assigned to this device and the device status become pending for redirection.